गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल आर अवेयर दैट द कैश फॉर वोट्स बेल हैज बीन ग्रांटेड टू ऑल दो हैव बीन कैप्ट इन तिहार एंड इन द observations made while giving the bail bjp feels that our position which has been held all the while i would definitely go into the details of the points on which we have been putting our side forward in greater detail in a while but the points on which bjp has been arguing that we are indeed whistle blowers in this matter has been vindicated and therefore of course without of course going into the details of the judgment knowing very well that the matter is still sub judice and the trial will establish the truth but we certainly would like to highlight certain critical observations which have been made in the context of granting bail to 3 plus 1 Sudinder Kulkarni ji and the three of our members of parliament one of course asked for an anticipatory bail so in the context of the observations we like to highlight how these observations which have been made while giving the bail certainly vindicate the position that the bjp has been taking i'll go just point after point there are about six points which i would like to bring to your notice the first is there is no prima facie case of bribe giving or bribe taking against these people i am talking about the three members of parliament two my former members of parliament and one current member of parliament and shri sudinder kulkarni no prima facie case is being made and there was no intention of giving or taking bribe the fact that there is no mens rea or intention this matter proves that there is no motive for giving or taking bribe and therefore as a result it is very clearly indicative that they participated in a whistle blowing operation the details are here the copies can also be obtained by all of you i don't want to spend more time reading the quotations within the judgment but there are clear passages which can be read if necessary so prevention of corruption act therefore on the members that we are talking about from the bjp for having not given bribe or for having no intention to give or take bribe does not come into picture at all but very well as i said we know that this will be argued very well by our judicial team and uh, the trial during the trial will take it up in the due legal process so the, that establishes that no prima facie giving or taking of bribe has happened second that there is no conspiracy the bjp mps volunteered to have the media record what is happening and having been as a part of the whistle blowing operation cash in hand after that immediately they gave an interview to the media that has also been put forward as a case and that has also shown that there is no conspiracy and as a result therefore that these people were participating with the knowledge of a media house in this whole operation to highlight how the upa 1 government the congress led upa 1 government was indeed trying to purchase mps and we are there as whistle blowers and if they had received and indeed to call the media immediately and say here am i giving you an interview they came they gave take it from me that couldn't have happened if you were genuinely somebody who were receiving money and the third about they going to the parliament and depositing the money on the table of the house instead of going to a police station this has been repeatedly questioned and we have also repeatedly answered and in this case of after having obtained the bail we like to highlight it again that during pv narasimha rao's time in the context of the jmm scandal which happened then the judgment even which i am referring to today has very clearly said 
that the parliament is fully competent and authority to deal with this kind of a problem, referring to the JMM case. And it was therefore, we are saying now that having come to know of that, our MPs very clearly went and laid the money on the table of the house and the parliament is fully competent to handle this matter. That's reinforced that the judgment given during P. V. Narasimharao's JMM case stands valid even today. And the fourth, that the media house was constantly in the picture recording and also seeing who's coming, who's going in the whole process of giving and taking money for the sake of the beneficiary who was the UPA government, the Congress-led UPA who was the beneficiary. And they have been shown as witness and we who are till now kept there as accused have very clearly like the way the, in which we have repeatedly said our whistleblowers and therefore we have not participated in giving or taking bribes. Fifth is we would like to remind that if indeed parliament has the authority which has repeatedly been proved, we recall the cash for questions scandal where MPs who were found guilty of receiving money for asking specific questions, Parliament indeed took action and removed them. And if there was such an issue of privilege and the Parliament being competent authority would have happily taken the action against these three MPs too if they were participating in giving and taking of bribes. They did not. It is necessary for us to recall that here. One of the references made is to a particular court order which in which I am referring to the case which is filed by Sri J. M. Lingdo. The details are here. I can always pass it on. The court had very clearly said that Sri Raval, who's, who was the additional solicitor general, arguing the case for the CBI had admitted in the court that he will bear in mind the direction given by the court to establish the money trail, identify the source of the money because it is important to establish who actually gave the money, where did they source the money from, why is it important? The charge sheet itself said that the money does not belong to BJP. The charge sheet filed in this case itself says that the money does not belong to BJP. And if as reminded in that court order, the additional solicitor general bears in his mind, and that has been uh, re-quoted here, bears in his mind an earlier direction given by the Supreme Court that the money trail will be established, the source of the money established. Who gave the money then? And why isn't the prosecution finding the source of that money till today? If indeed the money did not belong to BJP, as is said in this charge sheet, belong, it does not belong to BJP, then who did it belong to? And how did it come? What was the trail? Why hasn't that been established till today? The seventh point is there were 19 MPs who cross voted in this whole affair. Till today, we are repeatedly hearing about the BJP MPs who brought the money to the parliament. Have the others been cross questioned, checked up, interrogated or made a part of the chart sheet? No. Why is it? Why is it the other MPs who are also alleged to have been given money for voting in favor of the Congress-led UPA, why is it that they are not into the questioning at all? We raise that point even today. There are several B guests and we have been told Congress leaders' names which are involved and this is no longer a guess because Parliamentary Inquiry Committee itself has named some Congress leaders too. 
Why is it that they have not even been questioned to today on this matter? They should be questioned. They should be brought into the interrogation and if necessary later on added as supplementary in a supplementary charge sheet. If the truth has to come out, all those who are others named in the parliamentary inquiry committee's report should also be brought in into it. After all, the beneficiary of this whole scandal was the Congress-led UPA. They have not spoken a word about what their role was in this whole matter. We shall certainly take all this up in the trial which is going to follow. Now that the bail has been granted, we receive it with a great sense of responsibility and we appreciate that we have great faith in the process of law, in the courts. The BJP will definitely make sure that our case is comprehensively heard during the trial and the truth is established. That's on the cash for vote. <coughs> हिंदी में अगर किसी को चाहिए बोलना जरूरी है ये कैश फॉर वोट स्कैंडल में आपको मालूम है कि बेल मिल गए हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के चार लोग जो इसमें तिहार में थे बेल तो मिल गए हैं मगर इस ऑब्जर्वेशन जो कोर्ट ने दिए इस विषय में उससे हमारी बात जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी पहले से कह कर आई है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी के जिन जिन लोग का नाम लेते हुए उनको त्यौहार तक भेजा गया वो सब विसल ब्लोवर्स हैं और ये ना ब्राइब देने वाले लोग थे ना रिसीव करने वाले लोग थे ये अभी साबित हो गया है इस जजमेंट के दौरान जजमेंट मतलब बेल गिविंग के दौरान जो ऑब्जर्वेशन जज साहब किए हैं उससे ये बात पुष्टि कर रहे हैं कि ये प्राइमाफेसी कुछ इनके ऊपर नहीं है विषय ना लेने वाले हैं ना देने वाले हैं ब्राइब इसीलिए अगर इंटेंशन ही नहीं था इनको अक्यूज ना लेना है ये शायद विटनेस हो हो सकते हैं ये हम बीजेपी अभी बोल रहे हैं कि दे हैव टू बी विटनेसेस 